That is no longer the case for one doctor. A former Chief Medical Officer Winston De La Haye has had a change of heart and is now solidly defending his position. I've changed my position. I've been following, like you, the media, the happenings in different countries, Spain, Italy, the Czech Republic. I have friends in these places who have indicated. They are very clear. They have been for some time. I am now clear. As of last evening, and in fact have my own mask, uh, which I'm now recommending that all persons wear possible, all persons wear masks. It doesn't matter the kind of mask. I'm not talk talking about N95 or surgical masks. It's any mask that can offer protection of any form of droplet coming onto you, or especially if you are ill, you're coughing and leading to these droplets. We're now talking about micro droplets staying in the air for up to six, eight hours. That's serious and that can be prevented. At this time, any form of prevention that can be had, and if masks will do even an iota of that, then we must ensure that we are executing what will help. The East Central St. Catherine candidate for the PNP, who was participating in a press conference on Tuesday, also questioned the use of hotels for victims of COVID-19. I do not know that a hotel or any hotel room is the appropriate place for such a facility. Just think about the logistics, the monitoring of these persons who would already have been in isolation on a ward at the university hospital, for example, or anywhere else, to continue further isolation. How will you be monitoring that? One. Two, the kind of staffing that would be required. And I'm speaking with a background of training in field hospital uh, management, field hospital erection. I think now is the time to ensure that we identify appropriate spaces to be retrofitted for the erection of this kind of field hospital to move persons, making available the badly needed hospital bed spaces. Uh, it's very clear to me that areas like the National Arena, the National Stadium, our National Conference Center are appropriately poised with some retrofitting to do this kind of job. I also know the kind of people who are able to execute this. One group of persons I know, I happen to have a history with them, and that's the Jamaica Defense Force. And the People's National Party is also advocating for more frequent tests for those on the front line. And further, we would recommend that every frontline worker is tested every two weeks and repeated testing every two weeks, because that is the only way we can ensure that they are protected that they do not take home that disease to their families and their children who may have adverse effect, even if they do not exhibit any symptoms. And we are also in tandem with the government in saying that all severe acute respiratory illness cases that present to every hospital across the country, that those should be tested. Kerry Ann Golson, Frontline News.